Yo, what's up, guys? It's your man, you know, aka Kumari, out here on this Monday evening, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Chilling like a villain. But the video topic I'm gonna do today on my own channel is called Uncovering the Ratchetness. Uncovering the true meaning of ratchetness. And the reason why I'm coming up with this name. Uncovering the true meaning of ratchetness is because I watched a video that I found very disturbing, very disrespectful, kind of cruel, kind of a little bit mean, um, derogatory, and um, I took a, a little bit of offense to it, not just for me, but just in, for other people who probably viewed that video. Uh, it was called ratchetness. It was with somebody... Uh, with, with Skateboarder Sam. Don't get me wrong. You're my friend. You're my homie. I like you, Skateboarder Sam. I know you can dance. You got mad skills and all that. But the video was just rude. Video was cruel. Video was demeaning, disrespectful. Um, and it was her and her friend, Ja. Alright, so we're going to break down my meanings of ratchetness. If you can't say nothing nice about what somebody does on their own channel or what they do in their life that's ratchet if you disrespect them in a demeaning manner to make them feel bad or less respected for themselves that's ratchet if you bully somebody about what they look like how they talk how they smell how they walk what they carry on got going on in life if they got no job or if they choose to be with a stud in their stud. That's ratchet. If you tell someone they can't dance because it's not up to your expectations. Or what they wear or how they style it. It's not up to your expectations. That's ratchet. If you walk out here and you, your head is up on cloud nine. And knowing you can be just disrespectful to anybody that walks up to you. Like you look down on them. That's ratchet. If you belittle someone in your own community because their preference is who they choose uh, who they choose to date, it's not up to your level or your expectations. It's not something you consider a real stud, a real fan, a real man, whatever. It's ratchet. If you lie, you steal people's pictures, you fake who you are just to get attention from somebody else. That's ratchet. If you cannot be yourself, but you judge other people for being themselves, that's ratchet. If you're a pastor in a church, you sleep with young girls, you tell them to lie to their parents, that's ratchet. If you judge, but don't like to be judged, but you think it's okay for or you to do it to other individuals. That's ratchet. If you're a hypocrite, that's ratchet. If you're a bully, you're ratchet. If you're a liar, a faker, a thief, a pretender, that's ratchet. If you belittle someone for doing what they want to do and say what they want to say and how they want to, how they dance, how they act, that's ratchet. So it's kind of me calling y'all ratchet for your video. You know. There are positive ways of putting out a video and there's demeaning and disrespectful ways of putting out a video. The video, first hand, I watched it twice before I thought about making this video. And then after I thought about it, and I was like, well, dang, some of this stuff, it's just rude. It's just disrespectful. You know, I can value your opinion, be honest about what you want to say. But there is a way to say it, not to make people feel less or feel threatened or feel bullied or taunted for who they are or what they do. And when I watched this video, I was like, damn, a lot of stuff just, just, what the fuck is, what does it matter? You know, what, who cares? Doesn't nobody really think about it except you guys made a video, an 11 minute in something video 
about talking about people off YouTube in a fucked up manner. And probably some of the shit you probably said about me. But you guess what? I don't care. You know, I really don't. Because it's my video. It's my channel. I'm grown. I'm going to do what I want to do. And two, you're not paying my bills. You're not doing anything for me. So what I want to do on my own channel is my business. And if you don't like it, there are three steps you can do. Stop the video. Click the button. Watch another video. Period. I do this for entertainment. I do it for fun. I'm not like trying to get a contract out of here. But I've had people wanting me to do stuff for them on their own stuff. So it might benefit me one day of being a mentor, a public speaker, or something. But I'm not going to change what I do for anybody but myself. So if that make me ratchet for what I do on my own video, that make you ratchet for saying something disrespectful about it to a bunch of people I don't know. I probably do know. You know? But like I said, I don't have nothing to do with me. Probably does, but I don't care. Um, I just thought the video was rude. I thought it was disrespectful. Um, I will give you two two good ones that I agree with in the video. First one I do agree with is if you're gonna make a video, hit bowling, um, or dancing, or talking or whatever. I don't want to see your grandma's bras or underwear or your underwear or clothes you're supposed to fold up or your laundry you just didn't wash yet in the background. I don't want to see a dirty mirror that you made your video off of, you know? Um, there's just some things I don't want to see and I don't care to see. I don't want to watch a how-to video about how to put a, a fake dick into a harness from... You know, some of y'all do that. I'm sorry. I don't want to know about that. I don't want to see, hear about how do a girl supposed to put on a bra, take a bra off, how you supposed to eat her cookies or her business, or how you supposed to work it with a strap on. I don't want to know about that. I don't want to hear about how you supposed to wear a harness, how you put it on, how you take it off, how you clean it, how you clean your dildo, where you supposed to put it at, you know, I don't want to hear about anything that has to do with your bedroom or deal with you and your partner that is something sexual, I don't want to hear about it in a video, so I will agree on that one, I don't want to hear about it, if it's not benefit me and something that I want to see or do or become, then I'm not going to watch the video, but I damn sure don't want to hear about it neither, like, I don't want to see your grandma's underwear in the background. I don't want to see your underwear in the background. I don't want to see a dirty background. I don't want to see clothes everywhere. Like, for real. That's something that I, I agree on. I don't want to see. But wearing old Jordans doesn't make you ratchet. If they clean, you kept them up, you keep them in a box, you pay for them, that's not ratchet. If you can't dance, but you do dance just for entertainment for yourself, and or you're trying to dance and people might say rude things about you, that's not ratchet to me. But what is ratchet is when you disrespect somebody about what they do on their own video when it is their channel. That's ratchet. When you tell them, don't wear old Jordans because, you know, don't be rocking them. You need to flip you know, buy some new Jordans because, you know, it's just be a waste of time if people know you, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? We're in a recession. I'm not going to go out and go buy a whole bunch of Jordans and switch them up on my videos to benefit nobody else because they think it's ratchet if I got old pair of Jordans. Jordan don't care if I wear his Jordans and they old. He don't care. He, he cared I bought them. That's it. You know, what is it going to benefit you if I wear a brand new pair of Jordans or don't wear a brand new pair of Jordans? It doesn't matter. That part was ratchet. Telling somebody how they should dress, how they should carry themselves. Telling a stud who might be stem not to wear a, a whatever, lace front or whatever. Oh, she's ratchet if she's not a true stud. What? If you don't get out that box that y'all stuck yourselves in, you know what I'm saying? Be real with you. That's not ratchet. Telling someone that 
that's kind of just, I, did, I just didn't get the, the video kind of just made me like, dang, you know, y'all just disrespect a bunch of people that you have no idea that you disrespected. You may have never came in contact with them, you may have never had a conversation with them, or maybe you do know them, and maybe they are your friends, but you just disrespected them in an 11 minute video talking about how ratchet somebody is. Well, you're ratchet for making the fucking video anyway, excuse my French, talking about people who can't dance, don't dance. If you can't do that whole roll thing on the, the wave thing on the ground, don't do it. I might not can do it well, but if it's my video on my channel, I'm going to do what I want to do. Guess, guess what? It's my channel. If you don't like it, three steps. Stop my video, press that button click to somebody else. Period close. I thought the video was just rude. And I think it kind of made me upset a little bit. Not upset. It just kind of just like took a, made me take a step back to like, dang, is that really how y'all treat people? Is this really what you think about people? And, and people give you much respect and props, but you just disrespected them in that video. Think about some things you say before you say it. Because, I mean, really, the video was worthless. It was very demeaning. It was hurtful to a lot of people, probably. And um, I think if you're going to make a video about something, talk about how ratchet the world is. How, how ratchet people are being in the world. Not how ratchet somebody does or what they do in a video or how they dance, how they carry themselves, what they wear, and all that. Because it's worthless. If it is nothing positive, it's worthless. That video was worthless, which means a waste of time.